ब्रह्मानंदम परम सुखदम केवल ज्ञान मोति द्वंद्वातीत गगन सदृश तत्व सेक्यम एक विमलमचल सर्वधी साक्षिभूत भावातीत त्रिगुणरहित सद्गुम तम नमा प्रात स्मरा हृदय संस्फुदात्मतत्व सचेत्सुखम परम सगति तुरीय ये स्वप्न जागर सुषुप्तम वैति नित्यम तद्ब्रह्म निष्कलम न भूत संघ तपोभिक्षीण पापा शातारागिण मुमुक्षूण अपेक्षूय आत्मबोधो विधीय बोधोन्यसाधने साक्षाक्षकसाधन पाक वन्वान विना मोक्षो न सिद्ध्यति ज्ञान विना मोक्षो न सिद्ध्यति राइट अविरोधितया कर्मा ना विद्या विनिवर्त विद्या विद्या निहंत तेजस्तिरसंगवत परिछिन्न ज्ञात तन्नाशे सति केवल स्वयं प्रकाशते ह्यात्मा अज्ञानकलुषम जीव ज्ञानाभ्यासमल ज्ञान स्वयं नश्ये जल कथकुवत संसार स्वप्नतुल्यो ही रागद्वेशकुल स्वकाले सत्यवद्भाति प्रबोधे सत्य सद्भवत्सम जगद्भाति शुक्ति का रजत यथावते ब्रह्म सर्वाधिष्ठा उपादनेखिलाधारे जगंति परमेश्वरे सर्ग स्थितिलयानी बुद्बुदानी वारिणी सच्चिदात्मुस्यूते निचे विष्णु प्रकलिता व्यक्त विविधा सर्वा टके कटकाधिवत यथा काशो ऋषिकेशो नानोपाधि गिभु तदेदाभिन्नवद्भाति तन्नाशे केवलो भवेत् नानोपाधिवशादेव जातिवर्णाश्रमाद आत्मनोपिता रसवर्णादिभेदवत पंचीकृत महाभूता संभव कर्म संचित शरीर सुख दुखा भोगायतन मुच्यते पंच प्राण मनो बुद्धि दशेन्द्रिय सन्वित अपंचीकृत भूतोत्थम सूक्ष्मांगम भोग साधन अनाद्य विद्या निर्वाच्य कारणोपाधिच्य उपाधितृतयादन्यम आत्मावधारे We've done.
15 na eh? oh ho oh, wait a wait a minute panchako i missed one page panchako shaadi yogena tatan mayai vastitaha shuddhatma nila vastradi yogena spatiko yatha if you permit i will do five more verses वपुस्तुषाधिषोषाधिषोषाधिषोषाधिषोषाधिषोषाधिषोषाधिषोषाधिषोषाधिषोषाधिषोषाधिषोषाधिषोषाधिषोषाधिषोषाधिषोषाध
not any other. That vasana must be developed. Brahma eva aham asmiti vasana harati avidya vikshepan. Avidya vikshepan. Avidya vikshepan means what? Whatever has been superimposed by avidya. What is superimposed by avidya on the atma? The jivatmam is superimposed. I, the Atma, who is none other than Brahma Eva Hammasmi, on that, this Avidya has superimposed the Jeevatvam and I have become, I have become like this, a samsari. Ajnana Kalusham Jeevam. I have become like that. Ajnana Kalusham Jeevam. I am, I am Completely enveloped by Ajnana. Ajnana kalusham jivam Jnana abhyasad vinirmalam I'll have to attain to the Jnana. And when I do that, I will proclaim Brahma eva ham asmi. But in the meantime, we have to develop that vasana. We have to keep on repeating to ourselves. Then, harati avidya vikshepan Roga never asayanam. Roga never asayanam. Like even the diseases are taken care by the medicines. The medicine is what? This vasana must be developed. Brahma yeva hamas me. And the other vasana is what? Brahma yeva hamas me. Nirantara abhyastha. You must always entertain that. You must always entertain that, not once in a while. Aham Brahma, aham. Aham Brahma Asmi. When you do that, you know what? what would the attributes of Brahma we have seen. What are the attributes of Brahma? Beautiful. That ni, 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 the attributes were Nidguno Nishkriyo Nityo Nirvikalpo Niranjanaha Nirvikato Nirakaro Nityamuktosme Nirmalaha. These are the attributes. And when you Nirantara Bhyasta Brahma Yeva Hamasmiti Vasana. Harati avidya vikshepan roga nivarasayanam. That is what the present sloka is telling us. You must keep on, keep on telling yourself, Aham Brahmas me, Aham Brahmas me, Brahmas me, Brahmas me. And, and while doing that, you must entertain in your mind the attributes of Brahma and try to be those attributes. Nirmalo, Nishkriyo, Nityo, etc., etc., all those things you must try to acquire. Then this Nirantara Bhyastha will take care of Avidya Vikshepan, right? Any doubt on this verse? So when you're doing this, is this the knowledge that in the I think second shloka or so, Pakasya Varti Vatnyanam. So is this that knowledge that uh, that will deliver you? But this is just repeating it uh, mechanically, no? Correct. It, when, this is not knowledge. Yeah. This is leading to that. This mm. is a kind of jhana. Mm. Evam nirantara abhyastha. Nirantara abhyastha. And you are, you are entertaining that thought. Brahma eva hamas me. Iti vasana. That you have to develop. So it's a kind of a practice. So all that we are learning now in the Atma Bodh is, is knowledge of the Atma. Correct. But that is there only at one level. It is only at a conceptual level in the intellect. 
but the acharya ah. is going to, going to give us prescriptions ah. as to how to get there oh. what we need to do is okay. in the follow on verses mm. actually in the when i said follow on verses the follow on verses have started from here evam nirantara abhyasta evam is what the previous verse you must refer to mm. previous verse is what nitya shuddha vimukta ekam akhandanand madvayam satyam jnanam anantaram yat param brahmaham eva tat that evam that kind of a thing right so 37th verse is is a start point for practice of getting to yourself how to get to yourself this is the yoga abhyasa he is going to be revealed now nicely a lot of prescriptions as to what do we need to do what all we need to drop it's a process of unlearning right relearning correct. learning correct correct to unlearn that we are not the body mind intellect ego correct, correct. and then relearn that we are nothing but at brahma hmm but that once in a while appreciating is not good enough you must have that appreciation all the time evam nirantara abhyasta nirantara without any antara without any break nirantara abhyasta ब्रह्म एव अहम स्मृति वासना ओके कैन वी गो टू द नेक्स्ट वर्स इफ देयर आर नो क्वेश्चंस विवेक्त देश आसीन विरागो विजितेन्द्रिय भाव देकमात्मानीज वाट दट आत्मा अंड आत्मा इज वाट अनंत इट इज इट इज आक्युपाइंग आल क्वाटर्स it is expansive it is all pervasive it is without any beginning without any middle without any end anantam that anantam you must bhavayet ekam atmanam bhavayet bhavayet means you must have the thought all the time ekam ekam means only that atmanam in your in your mind you must entertain only this thought thought of what tam that atma anantam okay and ananya dihi with unbroken intellect and what kind of an atma is that how to how to get there what you need to do vivikta desha asi no <coughs> you must not do a, a kind of a group practice vivikta desha ashino you must go to a secluded place where you shall not be disturbed ashino means seated vivikta desha means a, a place where you are spiritually alone विविक्त देश आसीनो विरागो ड्रॉपिंग ऑल रागा द्वेषस विरागः विजितेन्द्रियः दैट इज क्षमदमादि संपत्तिः आफ्टर हैविंग ओब्टेन विरागः विजितेन्द्रियः देन दैट पर्सन भावयेत एकम ओनली दैट आत्मानं 
tam anantam ananyadhi tam atmanam which is anantam ananyadhi the dhihi intellect ananya should not waver go here and there okay tam anantam ananyadhi bhavayet these are the prescriptions for so to say meditation vivikta desha ashino virago vijitendriya bhavayet ekam atmanam tam anantam ananyadhi in the sixth chapter of the bhagavad gita also which is very nicely titled dhyana yoga a lot of prescriptions are there for meditation beautifully sucho deshe pratishthapya in a in a place which is very clean you establish yourself sthiram asanam atmanah for you have a have an asanam which is stable sthiram asanam atmanah na ati uchritam na ati neecham chaila jana kushottaram that asanam should not be too high nor should it be not nor is it you know quite deep into some valley and things like that chaila jana kushottaram means those days what what acharyas were using as a seat for meditation is a cloth the the skin of a deer then the grass chaila jana kusha kusha grass kusha grass it will be kind of piercing on that you put the deer skin on that you put the cloth and shucho deshe pratishthapya siramasana atmanah na ati neecham na ati uchritam chaila jana kushottaram tad wand after seated after sitting there sitting there what do you do tatra ekagram mana krutva ekagram single pointed tatra ekagram mana krutva yata chittendriya kriya upavishyasane yunjat yogam atma vishuddhaye all these beautiful prescriptions are there even in the bhagavad gita which i request the sixth chapter you you kindly go through you will get tremendous benefit now if there is no doubt can we go to the next verse here when you say sitting in a solitary place huh. it also imply you might be in a group but you are with yourself that could also be your your with yourself in a solitary place isn't it true 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 not necessary that you should be all by yourself like in the himalayas or all by yourself true you could be with other people but you're you're with your yourself yeah you but i'll and tell I'm... you one no 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 this is taking things too far don't please mistake me bramra what i am saying is when the shastra gives you a prescription you can't extend that to different different you know situations everything other than yourself has a distracting influence on you we must accept that without any doubt another person has a distracting influence on me right that is why vivikta desha asinaha and meditation is not a group activity it is a personal activity for every one of us meditation is never never a group activity while some people may inculcate the art of meditation in us in a group that is different but finally after you have picked up that kind of a thing in that school you have to be on your own for meditation ekaki bhagavad gita says ekaki you alone 
Yata Chitatma. Yata Chitatma. You have won over the Chitta and your mind. Ekaki Yata Chitatma. Nirashihi. And without any craving. Aparigraha. Not trying to, you know, you know, you take this and that. Aparigraha. All these, all these prescriptions are beautiful. That is a Shastraic prescription. We can't, we can't, uh, you know, make, uh, you know, amendments to suit our situations. No, no, I'm not saying that. Like, even if you're sitting all by yourself, mm -hmm. if a person is caught up in his mind yeah. with the thoughts of, uh, thoughts of the world. That even, I agree with you. Even then, you. It, it makes no sense. He's sitting in a solitary place, but he's not with himself. I agree what with I you. Meant was you can be in a group, but if you're not with your own self, then it makes no sense. You're not in a solitary place. True, true. But there it is conducive for Ekagra Chintanam. Right. When, when you are alone, it is conducive to gaining mastery over the mind and Employing the mind on Atma Tattva Chintana. That is meditation. Shanaihi Shanaihi Uparamet. Slowly, slowly. Withdraw. Withdraw from the world of objects. Shanaihi Shanaihi Uparamet. Buddhya. Using your intellect. Dhruti Gruhitaya. Have tremendous. Tremendous perseverance, Dhruti Gruhetaya, Atma Samstam Manakrutva, putting in the mind Atma thought only, Nakinchi the Pichantaye, don't you think of anything else? All these are possible when a kind of a privacy is available to you. You are with yourself. I fully agree with you. When you are with yourself, you are likely to get distracted. But that slowly, slowly, you will win over that, that running away type of mind and put it back into your Atma Chintana. Virago, see here. Vivikta Desha Ashino, Virago Vijitendriya. Bhavaye de kamatmanam tam anantam ananyadhihi tam anantam ananyadhihi. And why this another thing is why you are required to be alone, vivikta desha asinam is whenever you are alone, bhayam bhavati. When you are alone, you will have some kind of a fear. You can even meditate on that fear. What is this? fear. What is this fear? Whose is this fear? Is it mine? Does it belong to Atma? Atma does not have any fear. Nirbhayaha. Atma is Nirbhayaha. And why, why I am stricken with little fear? Now let me study myself. Om. 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 And then think of Atma like this. Vivikta Desha Asena Virago Vijitendriya Bhavayet Ekam Atmanam Tamanantam Ananyadhi. Right? Forward march? Yes, let's go. <clears throat> oh, oh. Atmanye vakilam drushyam pravilapya dhiya sudhihi bhavaye dekam atmanam nirmalakasha vatsada for two three verses this bhavaye dekam atmanam will continue and this will keep on changing. Earlier we said what? Tamanantam ananyadhihi. 
பாவையேதேகமாத்மானம் தம் அனந்தம் அனந்யதீஹி இந் தி தேர்ட்டி எயிட் வெர்ஸ் பாவையே தேகமாத்மானம் தம் அனந்தம் அனந்யதீஹி இஃப் ஐ எம் நாட் மிஸ்டேக்கன் யா தம் அனந்தம் அனந்யதீஹி திஸ் பாவையே தேகமாத்மானம் வில் கண்டினியூ பிகாஸ் தீஸ் ஆர் த பிரிஸ்கிரிப்ஷன்ஸ் ஃபார் அவர் கெட்டிங் ரூட்டட் இன் தி ஆத்ம தத்வா ரைட் யா த தேர்ட்டி நைன்த் வெர்ஸ் பிளேஸ் ஆத்மியேவாக்கிலம் திருஷ்யம் பிரவிலாப்பியதியாசுதீஹி த ஒன் ஹூ ஹேஸ் ஏ குட் இன்டலெக்ட் சுதீஹி தியா வித் தி இன்டலெக்ட் அண்ட் விச் இன்டலெக்ட் இஸ் திஸ் சுதீஹி வாட் டஸ் ஹேவ் டு டூ ஆத்மனியேவ அகிலம் திருஷ்யம் ஆத்மனியேவ in the in your pursuit and the thought of atma akilam drushyam entire scenery that is available to you in the jagat pravilapya pravilapya means immersing in that you you through all these things all drushyams are not without atma right atmaniyeva akila drushyam அகிலம் திருஷ்யம் பிரபிலாப்பிய அனந்யதீஹி இல்லைய பிரபிலாப்பிய தியாசுதீஹி நௌ தியாசுதீஹி பாவையே தேகமாத்மானம் நிர்மலாகாஷவத் சதா அண்ட் திங்க் ஆஃப் ஆத்மா ஆஸ் நிர்மல ஆகாஷ இந்த நிர்மல ஆகாஷ வேர் இஸ் திருஷ்யம் வேர் இஸ் திருஷ்யம் and when you have pra- when you have done the pravilapya that is pravilapya means you have dumped all these things drushyams in the atma chintana eva when you have done that it becomes nirmala akashavat and you keep on meditating on that bhavaye dekam atmanam nirmala akashavat sada okay right now this this verse roopa varnadikam sarvam vihaya paramardhavit paripurna chidananda swarupena avatishthate roopa varnadikam sarvam vihaya vihaya means giving up Rupa. Rupa is what? Form. Varna is what? Varna is, is like a color. Rupa Varna Adhikam Sarvam. Sarvam all these. Vihaya. Giving up. Paramardhavit. The one who has known. The Paramardha. What is that Paramardha? Paramardha is what? Tat. Tvam Asi is the Paramardha. விஹாய பரமாதவித் பரிபூர்ண சிதானந்த ஸ்வரூபேண அவதிஷ்டதே பரிபூர்ண வித் தட் இஸ் நவ் ஃபுல் பரிபூர்ண சிதானந்த சிதானந்த ஸ்வரூப தட் இஸ் பரிபூர்ண சித் ஆனந்த ஸ்வரூப சித் இஸ் வாட் ஞான ஸ்வரூப ஆனந்த ஸ்வரூப ஆனந்த ஸ்வரூப இஸ் வாட் சுக ஸ்வரூப சித் ஆனந்தஸ்வரூபேண பரிபூர்ண சிதானந்த ஆனந்தஸ்வரூபேண ஓகே அவதிஷ்டே ஹீ வில் பி ஹீ வில் பி டுவெல்லிங் ஓன்லி இன் தட் பரிபூர்ண சிதானந்த ரூபேண அவதிஷ்டே because when he is entertaining all these things beautiful thoughts rupa varnadikam sarvam vihaya all these things are given up that is whatever is the drushyam which has rupam that is given up and what is whatever is varna etc that is given up right all these things are given up vihaya means giving up 
paramardhavit, the one who is committed to knowing himself. Tattvamasi iti mahavakya. I'm going to realize that. Aham brahmasmi. That is going to be the goal for me. Paramardhavit, that is. Paripurna chedananda swarupena avatishtate. Paripurna, paripur sihiya. There is no, there is no inadequacy in the Chidananda Swarupa. It is absolutely full. Paripurna Chidananda Swarupena Avatishtate. When such a thing happens, <laughs> Drushyam means, okay, Drushyam is, Drushyam is whatever we see, the Jagat is Drushyam for the Jiva. Right? When you and I see each other and say, Hello, Hariyom, you are Drushyam to me and I am Drushyam to you. Okay? Drushyam is, there are three things. Mm -hmm. You are the Druk. You are the Siya. Okay. There is Drushyam. Mm -hmm. like, like I when you meet. Okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Are you got that? Yeah. Okay. okay. Right. This, this uh, shloka is a uh, sequel of the previous shloka where he talks of Mila. Mila. Uh, let me just get that. He talks previous. of the blue. Hmm? Like this blue. Sada, right? That that still implies a little bit of form and color because Akasha is generally blue in color. That so is from there, he's coming see. to Rupa Varnadikam. He says, even drop that, no? Correct. Drop that form and color. Correct. But uh, see, Akasha, that Rupa and Varna, you can't attribute to Akasha. But don't get confused with whatever Akasha contains. It contains this, you know, sun, moon, stars, you and I and the earth and things like that. No. Nirmal Akasha Vata. Devoid of all these things. Suppose that Nirmal Akasha is, is without any form, it is without any Varnam, etc. There's no sun to color the Akasha, like in the morning sun. Arune naiva bodhena. So this that Akasha that there. he's talking of, sorry, huh? this Akasha huh? that he's talking of is the, is, uh, is Apanchi Krita. It is from the Satvikamsha of the space, isn't it? No, no. Satvikamsha of space you can't see. That's what we have covered. Correct. Rajasamsha, Satvikamsha, of space you can't see. You cannot see. This so, is after Panchi Karanam only. Hmm. The Akasha that you are seeing, as though you are seeing, because Akasha is what? It is infinite space. It is not like a canopy where, you know, it is covering all the stars and things like that. That is our imagination. So this Akasha is talking of is not the sky that we see up above. <clears throat> the Akasha he is talking of is what? It's not the sky that we look above and see the when we look up uh, and see. Um, <laughs> yeah, difficult to say. Why why is not the sky? Because He's it has the... a color, it has a form. Kind ah. of, so to say, it has a, you see the, you know, okay. it's like an hemisphere. But that, that, yeah. The color. But, but that is only an example. Yeah, maybe you're right. It's not the sky. It is the Akasha. Right? Nirmala Akasha Vatsada. Yeah. Are we through with this? Paripurna Chedananda Swarupena Avatishtate. 
Paripurna Chidananda. Now, now, implications of non-duality. Jnātru jnāna jnēya bhedaha parenātmani vidyate chidānandai karupatvāt dīpyate svayame vatat Jnātru jnāna jnēya Jnēya is what? Jnēya is what you need to know. Jnēya, like the Everest Shikaram, you have not seen. That is a Jnaya Vastu. Jnana is what? You go there very near and though you are not a mountaineer, but you have gone almost near that and somebody has, some Sherpa has pointed out that is the Everest and you have seen that. That is the Jnanam. And the Jnanam you have acquired through what? Your sense organs and the mind. And Jnata, this jnata, jnata is what? The one who is the noya. You are the noya. Jnatru, jnana, jnaya bheda. These divisions, pare vidyate. In the paramatma, in the atma, these divisions are not available. These divisions are not available because the moment you say, the divisions are there. Jnata is different from the Jnanam, which is different from the Jnaya Vastu. So these three are distinct and different. And what happened to Atma? Gone. With these divisions, Atma, these divisions have superimposed on Atma all kinds of Jnanam. So Atma is not available. So, in the available Atma, Jnatru Jnana Jnaya Bhedaha, Pare Atmani Vijyate, Pare Atmani Vijyate, Pare Atmani Na Vijyate. This Na must be applied here, Na Vijyate. Pare Atmani Vijyate, Pare Atmani Na Vijyate. It does not happen so. Chidananda Ekarupatvat Chit. Ananda, Eka, Rupa, Tvat, Eka, Rupa, it is, it is one, there is no other. Chit, Ananda, Eka, ha. that kind of a Rupa, if you say, Deepyate Swayame Vatat, shines by himself, all by himself, and shines and gives brilliance everywhere. Deepyate Swayame Vahe. Right? This is one of the, the these Vedas are not there. Jnatru Jnana Jnaya Bhedaha. No. No, because of this Chidanandaika Rupatvat. This is the guiding factor. It is of the nature of Jnana. It is of the nature of Ananda. And it is all by itself. And it is, it is Swayam Prakasha Rupaha. Deepyate Swayame Vatatu. Right. I'm wondering why, time and again, mm. uh, the the aspect of light, brightness, shining, all of this is is used to describe Atma. Mm, because as against darkness. True. It is. Yeah. It, I know it is only a comparison, but then. Um, if you look at it without any uh, bias, mm. both darkness and light would mean the same for a person who does not know the distinction. For, but then we attribute... Say it, again. Say, say it again. 
when you look at it without any objectivity, without any bias, and you uh -huh. look at both darkness and light, mm -hmm. they would mean the same to a person who does not give, um, should I say, mm, I'm not able to express myself, but then... Who is blind? You can say, who is blind? Supposing, yeah. think of a blind person. Right. You cannot distinguish between darkness and light. Correct. Yeah, that is true. Isn't but it? even he, he, no, 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 no. Even the blind person, mm -hmm. when he is thinking, his thoughts are illumined. Mm -hmm. His thoughts are illumined by his, by his self. Mm -hmm. Yes or no? He is aware of the thoughts. Yeah. He is aware that somebody has called him. He is aware that somebody has come to help him. And these thoughts are illumined by his own self. That is why this illumination is often talked of. And, and Bhagavan Krishna says, all the luminaries, they owe their shine to me. Natat bhasayate suryaha na shashankaha na pavakaha. There, the surya does not shine. There means what? Without me. Without me, surya has no shine at all. Natat bhasayate suryo na shashanko. Shashanka is what? Who? Shashanka is moon. Na pavakaha. Even fire does not have that effulgence without me. Without me is, Bhagavan is saying, you can say without I, because I am Brahma Yeva Hamasmi, Natu Anyaha. That is the, that is the theme you need to adopt at that seat of meditation. Okay. Chidanandaika Rupatvata Dipyate Swayame Vatata. Yeva Matma Rano Jhanam. Yeva Matma Rano Jhana. Madhane Satatam Krute. Udita Vagate Jwala Sarva Agnana in the Nam the Hater Sarva Agnana in the Nam the Hater Sarva completely all Agnana Agnana is what? Ignorance. In the Nam is what? The fuel for the Agnana. The all fuel for the Agnana, the Hit, it will be destroyed, it will be burnt away. How? How? Yevam. In this manner, Atma Aranao. Atma Aranao. Arani is the, the uh, Shastra says, any yajna yaga you do, you have to, you have to make your own fire. And that fire is made by using two things. Arani and Uttar Arani. These two are two pieces of, it's two bowls of wood of some material, prescribed material. And there is a churning rod. And the churning rod also is of a prescribed material and dimensions and things like that. And it will have like, like you churn milk to get butter. You will have that, that rope. Two people will use that to churn as you keep on. And they keep in the lower bubble some material so that like, like cotton, okay? So that you, they will know when the fire has come. Fire is in the wood. The fire is in the wood. You will have to churn it like butter is in the milk. You have to churn it. Churning for butter from the milk is easier than 
churning for fire, Agni, from the Aranis. So, Evam Atma Aranau Jhana Madhane Satatam Krite. In this way, Jhana Madhane, Jhana. When you are doing this Jhana, okay, Satatam Krite. Here, when Acharya is saying Jhana Madhane Satatam Krite, this Atma Aranau, these are inside your mind only. In your mind, you are doing the dhyana. And in the dhyana, there is an uttara arani and there is a arani. You are doing the madhana. Satatam krute, when you continuously do, udita vagati jwalaha. Suddenly, the fire will come up. Udita vagati, udita, udita means it will come up. Udita vagati jwalaha. And the jwala, jwala is what? Fire, flame. Sarva ajnana indhanam dahetu. It will destroy all fuel for your ajnana. And then what happens? You, you are ajnana one. Okay? This arani is yourself in your mind and you are doing the jhana uttararani uttararani is a, the top arani and you are you are churning and churning with what tamanantam ananyadhihi sudhihi earlier verse we have seen earlier verse there were some uh, adjectives for the dhihi Samanantam Ananyadihi Sudhihi. What is that? <clears throat> oh, oh. Yeah. Atmane Vakilam Drishyam. Ah, Atmane Vakilam Drishyam. Pravilapya Dhiya Sudhihi. All Drishyam. Somebody asked, what is Drushyam? Drushyam is the seen, what you have seen, what is available for you to see. That is Drushyam. The entire Jagat is Drushyam for you. That Pravilapya, you as though merge into Atmaniyeva. Akhilam Drushyam Pravilapya, entire Jagat, you, you dump in this, merge into this, Dhiya Sudhihi. Bhavaye de Kamatmanam Nirmala Kashavat Sada. The Drishyam is also your mind. Drishyam happens in the mind. Yes. It happens, but you are able to, uh, you are aware of the thoughts in your mind. So even those become Drishyam. Why it happens is the mind is used to a form and a color. All these things. When a form is there, which includes a color, varnam, rupa, varna, etc., it will entertain a thought, vritti. And the thought is what? The thought of that object that the sense organs have reported to the mind. And that is how the drushyam happens in the mind. It is. It is an object's thought. The thought of the object which becomes drishyam in the mind. So everything happens in the mind. Only uh, we take the support of the body for the meditation. What, what is that? Can you please everything, say like Forms, names, drushyam, uh, everything, all the knowledge, everything is happening in the mind. Correct. Correct. And while sitting for meditation, we take the help of the body. And what is happening in the mind, you merge all these in the thought of Atma. You are meditating on Atma, isn't it? And Atma is what? Nirmalo. Nishkriyo, Nichyam, 
etc., etc., one verse we have seen, all those adjectives you entertain after merging all drushyam in the atma bhavana. And atma bhavana you entertain thus, how nirmalaha, achalaha, sanatanaha, etc., all these things. Dhiya sudhihi. Then you, you think of only Atma, nothing else. You are welcome to think of Atma's attributes without digressing, without allowing your mind to digress onto other topics, other vrittis, other thoughts. Vritti means thought. That is why this Dhiya sudhihi is important. Sudhihi, the one who has a good intellect, Dhiya, with his intellect, with that Sudhi, good intellect, he has to do all these things. Because it's not an easy thing. Because the mind is always, always having a lot of freedom to run here, run there without any shackles. Mind has been, from our Janma, has been running hither and thither. We will have to hold that. Shama. Mano nigraha. Vivekena mano nigraha. Right. Nanaji, could you please explain that Arani? I didn't get it. Arani is when you do any Ignyam or Yagam, the Ritviks there, Ritviks means people who will be uh, chanting the yajna related slokas and things like that. Before that, two people are employed to create fire. And the fire is created not by ordinary means. It is created by churning two wood pieces, one bottom piece and another top piece. From the top piece, you have the churning rod and keep on churning the bottom piece, okay? Just to tell you that the fire has come up, you, you are welcome to keep a piece of cotton there in the bottom arani. That is called arani. The top one is called uttara arani, okay? When you keep on churning and in wood, the fire is there. In mm -hmm. wood, there is fire. Aranam. Uh, here, yeah. I think, uh, refer to the Panchi Karanam where earth, the earth that we see, Arani is part of earth, no, because it's a solid object. Mm -hmm. So there is one, one eighth element of fire in that, isn't it? Correct. So probably that is what you're going to uh, bring up when you're doing, when you're doing this churning. Now say it again. See, uh, earth. The, uh, after Panchi Karanam, the earth that we see, the Prithvi that we see, mm. has one eighth part of the fire element in it. Mm. So, <laughs> when you're doing this journey, wood is part of earth. It is. Mm. So, you're, when you're doing this journey, you're bringing up that one eighth part of the fire that is there, that is becoming manifest. True. Very right. Very rightly said. What so, is hidden in the wood and what is hidden in the wood will be very obvious if you recognize the forest fires. Forest fires are not lit by anybody. They simply happen in summer when the branches keep on rubbing against each other and repeatedly the fire starts. And when the fire starts, it is given to the other tree, other tree, other tree, the entire forest is on fire. This Arani, madam, is nothing but a piece of wood. It is a sanctified piece of wood and that is used for creating fire, which will be used for the Yajna and Yaga. No other fire will be used. Yes, thank you. Now, okay. how does... I can't understand the simile between this arani and this process of meditation where you 
uh, okay okay merge with the seer okay now this arani is this the mind your own mind suppose and in your mm -hmm. mind you keep on thinking about atma all the time evam nirantara abhyasta brahma eva aham asmiti vasana harati avidya vikshepan roga nivarasaya now we have seen that in one of the verses today mm -hmm. how does that happen for you only you are doing that nirantara abhyasta and nirantara abhyasa that where do you do in your mind and your mind is the arane and who is the charner your sudhi hi dhiya sudhi hi your good intellect he is the charner mm. keeping the mind from running away hither and thither and mind is the arane this sudhi hi will churn it churn it with the thought of atma all the time nirmalo nishkriyo nichaha etc etc all these things the mm. sudhi will be pumping into the mind all these attributes of atma that is the nirantara abhyasta mm. that is the arani to the the uh meditation in the mind that is the simile your Beautiful. mind is thank the you so much yeah thank you thank you so much yeah uh, thank you i think we'll call it a day today brahmara yes david okay yeah it is really beautiful this uh, shloka mm yeah very right and see entire set of atma bodha shlokas are are a set of pearls beautiful om sarve bhavantu sukhinah sarve santu niramayah sarve bhadrani pashyantu ma kaschid dukha bhag bhavet om shanti 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 he Hari Om, everybody. Till we Hari meet Om. tomorrow. Thank you, Nani. Hari Om. Thank you. Thank you, Hari Om. Hari Om. Thank you so Hari Om. much. Hari Om. Hari Om. Hari Om. Thank you.